Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You're watching Furutech. So, we flashed you the official Lineage OS 19.1 three days back. Video regarding that is given in a right side card. But on 3rd May 2022, official Lineage OS team again released the new update. So, today in this video, we will check how to dirty flash this update, how is the performance of the new build, are all last bug mentioned in old video got fixed by the team or not. And there is one more bug that I forgot to mention in the last video, we will check that here also. Finally, I will tell you regarding the battery statistics and my final verdict. So watch the video till then, now without further ado, let's get started. ROM has an inbuilt OTA updater which will give the notification for the new update. From there you can download and flash the update. But that will replace your TWRP with the Lineage OS recovery as you can't able to disable the update recovery setting in a preferences tab. But still if you want just download the ROM in a OT updater, rest it will flash the update automatically. So here I manually flash the ROM via TWRP so download the ROM zip file also keep the GFs package. It's not necessary still you will flash them to avoid any conflicts. Now remove all the pins and the password in the security setting of the device. Boot your device in a TWRP using the advanced menu. Now in TWRP first flash the ROM, then go to the advanced, tap flash current TWRP. Now boot back to the TWRP again. Now flash the GFs package and it's done. Now just tap reboot to the system. So we booted to the lineage OS without losing the data. Now first we will see about phone if any changes are given in the new build. So all the things are old here like the Android version is still 12.1. Lineage OS version is 19.1, security page is of 5th April 2022. Kernel version is 4.9.227, only build date is changed here, it's of 3rd May 2022. So this build is just for some bug fixing and the performance improvement as I think. First we will do the Geekbench test for the performance check of the new build. Here I got the 500 for the single core and 2032 for the multi core. So little bit of performance improvement has been done here. As last time we got the low score as compared to today's results. Last time I didn't done the GPU performance test but today with the OpenGL drivers I got the above average results of 2250 which proves that the ROM is good for the gaming. Let's check the bugs are fixed or not in this new build. Last time the Oxynos camera build is completely useless. Actually ROM did not come with the Oxynos camera but I have given the link of working Oxynos camera in the video description. But still in the new build most of the things are broken like the portrait mode, panorama mode, pro mode which causing the camera application force close. Except the slow motion and the other features are working good. But instead of auction OS camera you can use the google gcam stable build which has all the features working only slow motion as the issue. Actually it shoots the slow motion but it doesn't have slow motion effect in the video. In the last build, Asna Safety Net got failed. In this build, I again tested it and it still got failed, so you may face difficulty in using security related applications. But you can root and use the Magix module to bypass the Safety Net check. Incoming call issue has been fixed in this build. Actually, in the last build, it was automatically got fixed after some time. So now we will get the incoming calls with the ringtone notifications. Next is not bug, but the disadvantage of the ROM that it doesn't come with the Pixel Launcher. So you did not get the some Android 12 features like the quiz switch for the last 5 wallpapers, no image and the wavelength taps in the recents, no at a glance feather and time quick shortcuts. In the style and wallpaper we didn't get the pixel wallpapers and no theme icon setting. But you can use the pixel launcher magic module given in a right side card to enable these features. Let's see the bug that I forgot to show in the last video that you are able to set only one fingerprint in a security setting. If you try to add another fingerprint, we can't able to register it because it doesn't recognize it again. This bug still present in this new build and it's still not got fixed. So how is the battery life? Battery life is good for the ROM but it's not the best. I got the maximum 5 hours of SOT and 20 hours of uses in one battery cycle. Still I didn't use the device a lot. So results are not better than the Awaken OS and the Siberia OS. ROM needs to be settled down and bug fixing with the upcoming builds. So for now, it's not the perfect ROM in the race where the already best performing toppers of the race are present like Siberia, Awaken, Pixel X Friends and Evolution X. Let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about this ROM. 
so that's it for today guys if you think i help you then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye